How's it going, Capricorn? It's your friend Dharma Jane. Running late as per usual. So this is going to be a general tarot scope for you for the end of March 2018 for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and for cross watchers. So calling in guides, calling in angels, calling in anyone from the highest good that has a message to come forward for Capricorn. Let me keep those. No, I'm not. Message for Capricorn, please. Past, present, future. What do you have for Capricorn? Stop. Okay. Past, present, future. What do we have for Capricorn, please? So Capricorn is done with some kind of cycle in regards to something from their past, maybe with an air sign. But it's like somebody tried to manifest something here. Somebody tried to almost like, I feel like they like tried to almost like force a relationship, but it didn't, like the message came out wrong. It, it came out like cutting. And this, like, new spark that was supposed to light just, I mean, it just didn't get lit. And they just, like, left. Like, left so quickly and so much that it's the fool. Like, nothing is there. Like, poof, gone. Almost, almost in a way that is kind of devastating. I heard ghosted. Like, took off and just bailed. Like, gone. Um because here's the world, that's a cycle, but this is someone from your past. So this could be an ex-partner, um, this could be someone you have kids with, but there's like, there's not e there wasn't even time to go within and consider whether or not that was going to be the right thing to do because I feel like they just dipped. Like I have a hardcore feeling here of somebody just ghosting somebody else. Hardcore. But you know what? That's okay because Capricorn can't really be shaken. You have the Nine of Cups, Nine of Earth down here too, right there. So it, I mean, it's lingering all over in the foundation and on top. And it's and so now you're at a place where you're like, whatever. See, because you have the you have the Knight of Swords in reverse twice. Like it's almost like if this person were to get near you again, you would cut them. And that's not really how Capricorn acts, but I feel like they maybe deserve it of whatever they did to you. And then you have the six of swords again. That's twice in the same row. And then there's the ace of wands in reverse twice. I mean, these cards are identical. And that's just, you know, confirmation that what I'm saying has a little bit of truth to it in that whatever this is here, they are gone. Either they are gone or you are gone or both. Because Sorry. Okay. Yeah, because you gave them your cup of love. I mean, it was given to them freely, but I feel like there was a knowing that there was an additional person and that that additional person could have been a cancer, but I feel like Capricorn was told that they were the one, that they were the soulmate, and that it's almost like they went into it as a third party thinking that this other person was like in the middle of a divorce when really they were nowhere near a divorce. Yeah, because there's your seven of air. Big bag full of lies. But it's like, okay, so here this is. This is split in half. This is the ten of earth and the five of earth. So it almost feels like this sneaky behavior, because there was such a strong connection here, it feels like half of you is gone now. And there's heartbreak with that because it was a tower moment for you. I mean, not all tower moments are bad because if this person, you know, was shady anyways, it is better for you that they're not there anymore, but that doesn't mean it hurts any less, right? 
towers are towers. When they come down, they hurt. And so, like I said, there is positivity around the fact that the tower came down, but that still doesn't make it hurt any less. And it I heard stole your innocence. Yikes. It's like you walked in, somebody walked into this relationship with blinding trust, blinded trust, whatever that is. And now half of you is gone because they were sneaky because they lied because they lied to you from the get go. The whole foundation upon which the relationship was based was a lie. See, there's a sun in reverse. So while it is over, that's still kind of a good thing. And you're going to have to rebuild and it looks like you're willing to do so. Um, but you're, you might have to go within to figure out how to get the strength to do that because there's definitely a trust issue now. You are now someone who has trust issues, whereas before you never had trust issues. But then this person came and was like, let me just build up this tower full of lies, which is now going to be your foundation. And so that cycle had to end. Um, could have been because of an air sign like this. If this person was married before, they might have been married to an air sign who found out and just, <laughs> you don't really mess with the king of swords. I mean, if you're going to mess with the king of swords, you might want to do it with armor on because they will cut you without telling you they're going to cut you first. It's not like, okay, I'm going to cut you in one, two, it's, I'm going to cut you slice, you know, and they don't feel crazy to me either because they're the other person who got lied to. So it's not like we can have animosity for the third party because they got lied to also. There's one tool here and it's not the people who got lied to. I'll tell you that much. Um, but it does look like there's no, there's no opportunity to continue here. Yeah, because in your near future, you have the death card. Maybe with a Scorpio. Yeah, maybe with a Scorpio. There's a king of water. Because of three people. Three. Right? But you sure did love them, even though they were a big fat player. And you were trying to have patience, but it just, this new seed never got planted, even though they're whispering in your ear this whole time. Oh, sure. I'm getting divorced. Sure. Oh yeah. My ex-wife is crazy. She's crazy. She doesn't trust me. She's jealous because of her, because of her. Please, Captain Narcissist. They left your ass because you're a player. I'm sorry. Lord, I apologize. I'm not going to judge anybody. People's situations are their situations because they are. And that's the way it is. Um, it could also be about a Pisces because we have two Pisces cards here. Um, but this is more about the fact that what I was saying before in that you were brought into this relationship on the foundation of a lie. This tower is the tower of lies because they lied to you and they're like, you know, out in the moonlight, everything looks gorgeous and beautiful. But when the sun comes back out, you're like, Oh my God, you're a toad. Yeah. And there's the tower. So this, this would be an indication that the tower has already fallen, which this is present and this is your future. I mean, and so now you're dealing with it, but it's like, you still don't have all the answers. It's like they are just gone. They just ghosted you and they left you with a broken tower and no clarity. But Capricorn is ready to come out of battling and like watch a different set of ships come in because it's not like you can just sit there and be rocked. I mean, this, I almost feel like you feel bad for this queen of swords if they're the, the married partner because they're stuck in it. See, these are both of the women in this situation who got played. 
both women got played and neither one of them are happy. And that's a beautiful thing if you can find compassion for that person. See, because they had too many, too many choices, too many opportunities and did not have the strength to be honest, didn't have the strength to come forward and say, look, I've got lying issues. And so now both of these women are hurt. But it feels like this Queen of Swords is the Queen of Swords because that person has hurt her so many times that she no longer cares. And she just, I feel like, rather enjoys being an asshole to him. I mean, it's like a pleasurable pastime now to punish him because all he does is punish her. That's a really toxic relationship. Girl, stay out of there. Guys, stay out of there. That feels really super toxic. Yeah, because in because so this is more like end of April. These cards, these are after tarot. The truth, there's no more, there's no more illusion. There's no more needing to go within to find out because you already know. And the choice was made, and it looks like towards a Libra, towards the air sign. And so that makes you come out of anxiety because it's no longer your problem. You don't gotta deal with this dude anymore. Not your problem anymore. And you're going to defend yourself. You're going to, you're not going to let this rock you. You're going to feel your feelings and you're going to be upset Capricorn and then you're going to move on. It's perfectly healthy to feel your feelings, but don't live there. Feel them and then pack them up and move on. <clears throat> yeah, because you've got the death card, the hermit again, and this player king of cups in reverse. Every time he's come up so far, has it been in reverse? And that's because he's out offering an empty cup. There, the, the situation is over. And, 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 <laughs> I can't talk. Good thing it is. I mean, right, Capricorn? This dude should cash me outside. King Tool. Yeah, that's right. I just said cash me outside. <laughs> <laughs> whatever I hang out with spirit all day give me a break advice from the fairies please make music find order find the harmony get back to the place where you were before this person came in and ruined everything go to your highest go do the thing that like is best for your highest self Go play. Play. For those of you who haven't heard this spiel, I got these cards when I was like 13 and I didn't know what they were, what they were for. So I went through the book and I wrote down the keywords on them all. Who would have known I'd be using them 20 years later. This is another indication of playing and like finding your wild woman again. And this, this works for men too. You know, it doesn't matter what the gender is, but go back and find the rawest part of you that makes you a badass. I mean, look at her. Love her. And yay. So you've got guidance to do this. You have spiritual guidance. And just next time, just when you feel the feeling that something is wrong, because I feel like you did feel that multiple times, throughout that something was a little iffy, go with that. Don't push it down. Don't block out. When spirit is trying to contact you and talk to you and gives you feelings in your gut, listen, because this person is not coming back. And good riddance. I mean, I don't want them to come back for you because look at what they did. This is, this is the path of destruction that they leave everywhere they go. And then you've got these beautiful, empowered women who lose their strength. Stay out of that situation. If you got the moon card coming up around a person who's not a Pisces all the time, they're lying to you. I mean, the cards don't lie. They don't. This tower that's happening around you right now, I'm so sorry. But at the same time, I'm happy that it is because this energy is not going away. This three-party energy, it's not going anywhere. It's not. It's who they are. Big, fat, sneaky peep with their mask on. Can you see the mask? Not really. She has a mask on. Move on.
Get out of there. Get out of there. That's all I can say. Okay, Capricorn, I'm sorry that was a rough reading. I'm just the messenger, but it looks like everybody's readings for April are like coming to ends of solutions with third party situations and repairing with their right partners. So if that's you, I mean, it's not going to be that way forever. It's just a transition moment, okay? Private readings are DharmaJane8 at gmail.com and Instagram is DharmaJane.8. And please do like, subscribe, and share. And if you're going to subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I put up a new video. Have a good one, Caps.